first, let's learn how to properly place the mission models. Begin by placing one piece of dew lock according to the square markings on the mat for the mission model. Next, place a second piece of dew lock face down on each of the dew locks that you placed so that the sticky part of the dew lock faces upwards. The final step is to align the mission model that you want to place according to the markings on the field and make sure that you press down until you hear a clicking sound indicating that the dew lock has been pressed in. Additionally, make sure that when you press down on the mission model, you're pressing near the base of the mission model as to avoid damaging the mission model when you place it on the field. Now let's take a look at how to place some of the mission models that do not use dew lock. Here's an example with the platooning truck. Notice the three lines that are on the field indicating the position of the tires. Here is an additional example with the chicken. Notice the alignment for the tail must be facing south for this mission. Now let's learn how to set up the field before a match. These are the elements that should begin at home. The platooning truck, the turbine blade, three gray containers, the M01 innovation project model, the package, and six content pieces, two orange, three lime, and one blue. The first mission on the field is MO2 unused capacity make sure that the hinge container is completely empty and the lid is completely closed, then align it to the markings on the field. Next is MO3 Unload Cargo Plane. Make sure that the container is loaded vertically, the cargo door is lifted completely, and the container is resting on the back light gray pieces. For MO4 Transportation Journey, Make sure that the push bar is down and back against its stopper. Then make sure the airplane and truck are loose in their activators and push them backward against their push bars. Next is MO5 switch engine. Make sure that the yellow bar is facing north. For MO6 accident avoidance, be sure that the black frame and yellow panel are both facing vertically. For MO7 unload cargo ship, Make sure that the crane is as far west as possible. The lime container should be resting on the east deck. For MO8 airdrop, move the yellow lever all the way to the west and load the food package onto the yellow axle on the front of the helicopter. Next is MO9 train tracks. Move the train all the way north and make sure that it moves smoothly. Additionally, lift the repaired section upwards. Mission M10 Sorting Center can actually be set up in several different ways. The lime container can be set up in any of the bays in the top shelf. Then the light orange container can be set up in any of the remaining bays in the middle shelf. And the blue container can be set up in the remaining bay in the bottom shelf. The setup for M11 Home Delivery is just to have the package starting in home. Similarly with M12 Large Delivery, make sure that the turbine blade starts in home. As part of M12, the chicken statue should be placed according to the markings with its tail facing south as mentioned previously. As shown earlier for M13 platooning trucks, one truck should begin in home and the other should be placed on the field as shown. The parallel line should match up with the tires of the truck. Next is M14 Bridge. The bridge deck should be facing upwards. Finally, for M17 Precision Tokens, the six Precision Tokens should be placed on the mat as shown. That brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to check out our other Cargo Connect related videos and subscribe for more to come. Also check out ev3lessons.com, primelessons.org, and flotutorials.com for programming and first LEGO League related resources.